I began with uh, Rock, Rockies Giants at Alton, down at Alton, I think it were under sixes, under fives. Uh, and then I played football as well whilst I were playing rugby. So each week I was playing rugby or football on a Saturday and Sunday. Um, and then I started getting a bit more serious about my rugby. So uh, I joined Alton after that. Uh, I would get through Alton. And then I left to play uh, football for a two year. So I played football, sacked rugby off totally. Uh, and then I joined back rugby, but I played for Methley Warriors for a couple of years with uh, some of the lads who, who play down there, Lou McConnell and Harrison Scott, who used to play. Um, and then we, and then after that, after a couple of years of that, I got to about 12 and then I wanted to get really serious about it. So then uh, like all my mates at school, they were getting picked for, I think it was like North East South Leeds. Um, so then I wanted to, to do what they do. So I joined Alton, which were my actual local side with all my mates, playing with all my mates. So I started down there under 12s. Uh, and then it was Steve Fox uh, who took us like the whole way through to the 16. So. It were about, I think it was 13, when uh, I were at the what's it, service area. I was playing uh, service area for Leeds, and that's where I started down here. And then there were a pre-scholarship here at under 14s where we, we came in a couple of weeks a year and trained with, with uh, the Leeds Rhinos for, for like to see what they like about us and all that. Lot. So uh, then I got selected for the scholarship and then played there for two years. So I've been here for a good, good five years. This is my fifth year now. Uh, and then obviously I got, got signed at uh, Academy, uh, worked my way through the two years that I was contracted to and then earned myself a third contract, which I'm in now. I've always supported Leeds. Uh, I remember playing, at, playing on pitch at half-time, uh, Johnny Wood doing foundation then, so I remember seeing him quite a bit. Um, but on a, mainly on a Friday night, I used to enjoy watching Leeds on, on telly. We sit around as a family and watch watch Leeds. We, we barely went to the game, but we did we did watch them. My hero was Rob actually. Like, he used to always like see how I could relate relate to playing to him because I was always in the same position. So I used to always like see how I could how I could do do what he does, you know. And then when he coaches in scholarship, which he, which he did, it really helped. It was like a dream come true, really, and it is now, you know. I don't really tell him much. <laughs> You know, but uh, yeah, Rob, uh, one of my memorable games was, actually, yeah, I used to ball boy as well in under 16, so I were, I were at every home game when it were from, when they won treble as well. So it, like within two years, I was ball boy in every game there. Uh, so that, they, that was quite memorable. Um, and probably one of the memorable games were the grand final when Rob scooted under, under and uh, he went like half at pitch and then just got try, yeah. Biggest rugby influence, uh, probably just all my coaches. Really, like they're in one particular. There's a lot of coaches who have put a lot of time and effort into the team as well. So as well as me. So that's that's probably my biggest influence. Um, it was Fred Francis uh, when we did like a, I think it was service area, uh, and he said always always make eye contact with your coaches. So that they know that you're listening and that you actually take take on board. So whenever I'm being coached now, I just literally stare at the coach so that they know that I'm listening. You take a lot more in. Just being in a team, you know, having some mates what you grow up with. You know, some of my my mates who I played amateur, I'm still best mates with them. So uh, just being in a good team environment, and when you when you're winning or losing, you'll know who your mates are. Uh. Probably passionate. Uh, I play with me out on my sleeve, really, and I do everything I can for the team. Not not as much myself. I do it for for the win. You know, I'd rather get my team team through through two points and then me play a rubbish game than the loss of me play good. You know, that's what I see myself as. Well, there's a, there were a goal that was set, and I I made a personal goal to win to win the the. The, the whole thing, you know, I think I think it's achievable as well. Uh, we can, I think we can do it if we stick to what we've been doing. I, I were at college for two years, uh, and then I started my work experience with the foundation. Actually, uh, I was with uh, going into primary schools like odd odd couple of weeks to get my work experience done. I thought I really enjoyed doing that. So, and then uh, it came to the time when I needed a job as well as playing. So I uh, asked if I could have an apprenticeship with the foundation. That's what I've been doing for the this past year, uh, going into schools and high schools and doing competitions 
and looking at young people playing rugby and helping them develop. Uh, Louis McConnell, Owen Trout. Oh, uh, probably myself. <laughs> Spencer Darley. Uh, Billy Jowett. I can't think, they're not very smart. Uh, oh, I don't know. Who would I want on my quiz thing? The thick, the thick as out. Ooh, uh, Reese Chapman Smith. <laughs>